there's there's a very spicy opinion mm. in the data world at least that I know you have. Yep, yep. And I kind of share it with you. And that yep. is that brace yourselves folks. <laughs> that is that self service doesn't work. Ooh. I know. And it's it's a it's a hard thing to say because for so it many is. data teams it's the goal. Yes. Yep, that's the end point. So why do you think that? I mean, I'm a practitioner. I've worked in uh, data engineering teams, BI teams, and now in governance functions. So, I mean, I've tried it. Um, I think a lot of it is, you know, kind of the marketing. Uh, vendors will tell you about the goal of self-service. They want people to be data-driven, data-led. So the idea is that you have these end users who are just going out there, creating their own reports, and kind of working off of these, you know, Tableau, ClickView, Power BI, name your, name your vendor. But um, the challenge we have is just, it just never works out either we may build out a self-service environment, but it's very hard to maintain that. It's a lot of resources to build that, and no one uses it. So yeah. you spend these months and years building this whole entire platform for self-service, and no one wants that. Because you know what? People don't want to learn SQL. They don't want to learn how to make their own reports. They like having someone they can reach out to to build their own reports. So you may have a small population of people who wants to do that kind of thing, but the problem is it takes so much energy and resources to do self-service. Is like, is it worth it? Like, does the cost justify it to kind of build out this environment for a couple people to do self -service? Or you have so many intricacies around, like, you know, you need a query of revenue minus this, minus that, minus that. Yeah. It blows up and you have to create your own ad hoc queries. Yeah, and, and I've, I've lived this too, right? Yeah. I think every data team wants this because what, what they're seeing and you can tell me if, if you've seen this too, but I, I think many data teams, what they're seeing is this insurmountable number of incoming requests. Right, yep. And what they think is, okay, we'll build a self-service platform, yep. and then we won't get these requests anymore. Right. And we can focus on the <laughs> other stuff that we think is more important. Right. Does that ever happen? No, I mean, you're, you're, you're still going to, I mean, a lot of the idea is that, hey, you know, if we can service 80% of the questions and the data team only handles the 20% of like those tough questions, but the challenge is you don't really know what the questions is because like it goes back to engagement where like, do you know the types of questions the business wants to know? Yeah. Do you know what they're curious about? Do you know what, but so it's, it just never, it, it's never worked out in terms of what we thought about where, you know, the business will service all their own stuff and we'll work on the hardest stuff. It's like, they don't want that. Like they, they, <laughs> they don't want to do that. Like I said, it, it's just, um, it, but you don't really learn that until you're in the weeds, like you and I, just like you've worked with customers, you've worked with business stakeholders, and you realize, you know, they just don't want to, or um, they just don't have the ability to. So it would take so much time to teach them, like, but it goes back to, is it worthwhile? Uh, or you could just better prioritize. You can prioritize and triage the work that's been given to you. So it's another big challenge. And I, d I definitely think data people feel that I was talking to someone the other day who, who expressed this. Well, they should all just learn SQL, right? Uh, or that data is, it's not that hard. It's not that right. hard to learn Tableau. It's not that hard to learn Power BI. Right. We've pre, pre built this model for them. Why can't they just do it? And yep. the thing you need to keep in mind is that these business people are also dedicated professionals yep. who have dedicated their lives to learning something that's not data. Exactly. You know, and so <laughs> as yep. much as you know about data, they know about supply chain or yep. merchandising or, and that's what they care about. And yep. so your job is to enhance that, right? Yep. Not, not to bring them into your world, but to go into theirs with the answers they need. Yeah, I challenge my peers a lot because I hear that a lot in terms of, you know, can't we just, you know, it's so easy to use Power BI. All you do is do some joins. Like, bro, like, stop right there. Like, <laughs> join, like you just said the word joins. It would take them months to figure out, like, what a table is, what a database is, exactly. how to do joins. Like, that itself is months of things. It's like, what's, what's the benefit? Like, why are we going through the effort trying to teach them all this just for us to do less work? <laughs> Yeah. Um, so like, I, that's the challenge I have a lot. Just even my data peers, like they, we make it seem so simple. Like you've been doing this for 15 plus years. They can say the same thing about us. Like, why don't we go learn what a financial model is? Exactly. Why don't we learn about how to forecast the sales you know, for the sales team? Um, exactly. They, they can say the exa exact same thing about us as well. It's a two-way street, folks. Exactly. <laughs> um, like you're.